Hello everyone, this is Okuna and welcome to episode 4 of Star Command New Missions or the so-called Season 2. We are here in orbit around uh, the Midorian homeworld of Norfu and after we had quite some adventures with the Kroll we scanned the Tarsus system and what did we find? New targets. We now can move and visit Drib, which seems to be some kind of satellite around Ovior. And I think we remember those Avarian, well, chokesters. Now it's quite uh, interesting that the, well, it, it looks like a moon, but, and let's call it a moon around Ovior, is much bigger than Ovior itself. So, if if it also means that it would have more mass than Ovior, obviously Ovior would orbit around Drip, but I, for the sake of uh, well, completeness and realism, let's say Drip is far far larger, but far less in mass than Ovior, so it can be bigger with less density. But, let's set aside all those uh, Thoughts about realism. Post them goodbye. And go visit Drip. Would you like to travel to Drip? ETA 15 seconds. Sure we would. ETA 10, 9, 6, 8, uh, 7, uh, mm, uh, 6, and 5, and 4, 3, 2, 1, and arrive. We are receiving a distress call. Sir, it's the SCV Virtue. Incoming hail from Captain Renayrel Platt. Hmm. Is that a human? Yes, uh, looks that way. Captain, thanks to the stars. We're on our last leg here. What happened here, Rena? What is it? What is the cause of your distress signal, Captain? Well, take, let's take the first. Wish I could say. I wish there were words. They say there is no devil, Captain, but... We'll teleport your injured crew aboard. We can talk about it after. Inform the medical bay to expect wounded. Begin teleportation. Well, obviously, both choices are about teleportation. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I did not have the best experience with teleporting crew on my ship. So let's see. No! Okay, she doesn't want... You don't want us to help your crew, Captain? My crew, Captain. We've been compromised. We're better off. Okay. Sir, we're detecting. Sir, it looks like... Like a massive life sign approaching. One life sign? I won't let it happen again, Captain. We have to scuttle the virtue. Destroy your ship? Why? Happen again? What's going to happen again? Yes, let's take that. Okay, that looks interesting. Scree! What the hell is that? I want scans of that thing now. Let's take that answer. It's some sort of space-born entity, Captain. A space monster! This SBE matches no known species in the database. You've got to destroy us, Captain. I beg you, don't let it. Captain, the monster is turning to engage. We are under attack. Obviously. Unknown ship battle. Coronamo versus unknown SBE. So, we know the drill. Incoming, of course, before I can do anything, does not 
look like there will be intruders, but my shields are down for the moment. So let's wait for the lasers to charge up. Oh, the second volley incoming. They are firing fast, so let's return fire fast. Okay, first. Still cannot do anything, and shields are down. And ship is damaged, so plasma one and two and three and four. Okay, four hits with plasma. Now I can recharge shields, and I will do exactly that when the shot comes in. Okay, recharging shields and firing lasers. One, two, and three. Fortunately, I also eliminated his shields. Where's the incoming? Ah, uh, inside my dodge room. But let's send out a little crew to fix the damage they are doing to my ship. And let's dodge that, that shot. Oh. Okay, plasma shall be ready soon. Could not be soon enough. They fire very, very fast. And four hits with the plasma. Okay, got it here. And let's fire the laser after one, two, and three. Target my bridge. Shields are up. Okay. Now shields are not up anymore. Let's recharge them and send a crew to fix damage. Well, they leave no time in their fights and in their shooting, so. Let's return fire. One, two, and three. Ah, fortunately today I've got some Zielwasser. Aiming water. One. And two, two, and three. And the last shot makes it four hits. Three. And let's dodge that hit. Let's also repair repair but heal all my crew members. This thing must be stopped. My ship can't finish the job. Uh, okay, I think I would have everything under control, but... Get out of here, Rena. That thing will rip you to shreds. It's suicide, Rena. Yeah, get out of here. Sir, the Virtue is overloading its engine. They are trying to move towards that space monster. Oh, the SBE. What is SBE? Spaceborne entity. Hmm? Okay. She means to explode the virtue to kill that monster. The fool. Stand down, Platt. This is madness. Yes, yeah, stand down. Please. Okay. Too late. The ship is destroyed. Sir, there is no debris from that explosion. No sign of the alien or the virtue. Okay. That's interesting. I'm. I'm sorry, sir. They're gone. Why did the captain feel that was necessary? Such a waste. Yeah, obviously. But fight seems to be over. Okay. Let's see. Everything returns to normal. Sir, I'm receiving a faint transmission. It's... it's... Captain. It's the Virtue. Okay. Help us. We are... <coughs> off power. Life support is... <coughs> mayday, mayday, mayday. Interesting. The signal is weak, sir. The precision makes no sense. Scanning systems are saying they are all around us. Okay. What do you mean all around us? My hypothesis, sir, is they are somehow outside of conventional space and time. Sir, I'm getting some very strange readings. My god, that creature must be able to bend in space. So? Let's move where we want to help them. Six, five, four, 
three, two, one, and... Where are we? Looks strange. Still, everything looks so far in order. Um, sir, we are no longer at the trip. We are over 50 million light years away. Systems are trying to calculate. Okay, 50 million light years is quite some distance. The computer says we have been here for several years. It gets stranger the second. Scan for that monster. We have to find the virtue or way back. Okay. Incredible. The scan indicates we are inside a massive gravity well, equivalent to a K-class star at 10 million kilometers distant. A dark matter creature? Of course. The particles that comprise it are spread throughout our scanning range. It is everywhere. Should I be worried? Or will this interfere with our search? Or maybe the virtue is being masked by this stuff somehow? Well, will this interfere with our search? Oh no, sir. Our systems are working perfectly. I believe the creature is somehow holding us within its dark matter area. Technically, we shouldn't be interacting with it at all. We are outside of known science. The dark matter readings are off the charts. Can we use that to find the virtue somehow? Interesting theory, Captain. The virtue is made of normal matter like us. Maybe we can use the dark matter to occlude our search area and find the virtue. Yes, that is what I was trying to tell you to do. Occlusion, um, yeah, do that. Oh, of course, it has to work since it is so technical and novel. Let's take uh, the simple answer. Yes, that's what I was trying to tell you. Sir, we've completed our gravimetric scans, moving to the area with the strongest signal. We are here, sir. If the virtue still exists, we should be able to see her. Try sending out a hail. Can we do something with tachyons, maybe? Well, let's first try sending out a hail. Aye, sir, sending out a multi-channel hail. No response, sir. Maybe our original scan was flawed and we've jumped to the wrong place. So, let's continue. Sir, I'm detecting a weakening of the local gravity well and a rise of life sign readings. Any sign of the SB? Sir, income transmission. I don't think it's the virtue, but... Well... See for yourself. Too hard. Too hard to fight. Rina, is that you? You've got to keep fighting. Hold on. Rina, is that you? It fights at every turn. Cannot. Must speak now. Can we teleport her away from that thing? Uh, does anyone know what she's talking about? Well, can we teleport her away from that thing? Captain, I can't even get a lock on the creature itself. It's like it's broadcasting from outside our universe. I just want peace. Why? Why does it fight? Please, you must help. I need options, people. What can we do? Sir, without a way to detect the actual location of the creature, we seem to have no options, but... But what, crew person? I know it will sound crazy, but I don't think that's Captain Platt. It sure sounds like Rena. Explain. I think it's her voice, sir. Probably even her body. But what if that's the creature trying to talk to us? Go on. Or I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Please continue. Go on. What if it's Captain Platt uh, that's fighting? Fighting the creature's attempt to communicate. Well, would be interesting. Sir, the monster is back. 
Okay. The monster is back. So, this one is incompatible. The merge, pain, corrupt, we die. This one rejects us, poisons us with the radiation, killed her own crew. Yes, we could not save them. We tried. Release Captain Platt and we will do what we can to help you. The merge cannot be stopped. Must merge with another or die. Merge with another? You want us uh, to give you someone else? I would rather see you die than give up another of our species. Well, let's take the diplomatic answer. Must merge, share, all that we know. Sir, if I understand the author, we might have much to gain here. Okay. Indeed, learning to travel space as the creature does would change star command. Hell, the universe as we know it. So I would have to order someone to merge with that thing? I've heard enough. The answer is no, never. I would have to order someone? You would not have to do, sir. In such a scenario, I would volunteer. Who? In fact, you would have your pick of volunteers, sir. It's a tremendous opportunity, once in a lifetime, really. I have a list of crew members willing to merge with the creature. I can't believe I'm doing this, but so be it. I'm not in the habit of sending good crew to die. Destroy that thing. I can't believe I'm doing this, but so be it. Are you sure, sir? I must admit, I'm not sure what the results will be. The knowledge of Star Command Protocol may be a serious liability. The potential benefits outweigh the risks. Let me pick who will go to join the alien. You're right. Too many have died for Platt's mistakes already. We end this now. No. Let's join the alien. Here is the list, sir. Pick the officer you would like to send. Well, crew Krista Holmes, crew Giddypoo, crew Abigail Ryan. I take Giddypoo. Okay. Sir, our crew member has teleported and Alien has returned Captain Platt. Okay, Captain Platt. But the medical team says her condition is irreparable. They don't think she'll survive long enough to see us jump out of here, sir. Captain Platt is asking to speak while she can. Of course, patch me through to sickbay. <coughs> Captain, I, <coughs> I don't know what to say. I was so wrong about it. So wrong about everything. <coughs> Remember this, Captain. It's not what it seems. <laughs> it's not what it seems. I'm sorry, sir. She's gone. Thank you. That will be all. Maybe it's for the best. Carry on. Incoming hail, sir. I think it's the creature. We apologize, Captain. We did not understand your kind. Captain Platt could not have seen our overture as anything but an attack. Some are too primitive to see anything else. Is my crew safe? Have you merged? Not too primitive for peace, I hope. Is my crew safe? Captain, we, I, are one. The creature you called the SBE and your crew member are indivisible coming out. Merged. What now? Will there be peace between us? My kind uh, lives in the web of what you call dark matter. It is a chaotic, dangerous place, but it has uh, taught us many things. Compassion, chief among them. Sir, the gravity well is uh, fluctuating again. I believe the SBE is preparing to leave. There will be peace, for now. There is much for our new found essence to do. In time, you may learn of our travels. Until then, farewell, sir. Farewell, we must and we will meet again, I'm sure. 
So, light waving out. And we are in orbit of Drip. So, we have returned to Drip. Our internal clocks are also back to normal. Mission completed. That was interesting. Okay, so I think this will it for this episode. Please leave a like if you like this video. Comment below if you have mastered the YouTube's and Google's new shenanigans. I think I have dug a little bit into it, but I'm not too enthusiastic about the, all those Google Plus uh, things. But there still is another social network I can and you can use. This is Twitter, so please contact me via Twitter, so long that is still possible. Twitter.com slash Okuna 1up. And we will see each other again soon. See ya.